Hi there, everybody, and uh, we have the White Sox at the Red Sox here today, 1908 American League. Chicago, four and a half games out. They're not all the way out of it, but they are under 500. Boston, two and a half games out, and um, they've been playing much, much better. Um, as you can see, we've uh, made a couple of uh, slight changes here that I think you will appreciate as this game goes on. So um, here we go. Top of the first inning, it'll be Patsy Doherty here for the uh, White Sox. Uh, White Sox... Um, uh, using, of course, this uh, modified lineup, and I think I've talked about that a couple of times now. And so we're trying to make things a little bit different for them. The rule is a 51. I'm not sure how this is going to look. I'm trying to give the uh, video the best quality that I can, but um, you might have to trust me when I tell you what the rule is because I know there's still that glare. I haven't solved that problem yet. Uh, Doherty has an 11 on his 51. That's a single to left field that gets in front of uh, Kravath. And so Patsy opens it up with a base hit, and then he promptly steals second with uh, Fielder Jones up there. So runner on at second now for Jones. Jones um, is going to swing away. No need to bunt now. And the roll is 66. It's a good thing we didn't bunt, isn't it? His second roll is an 11 for a 1, and that's a home run over the center field fence. Man, what a way for Cy Morgan to start. I was going to tell you all about him with his 5-2 and two record, but now his ERA is up to 3.26 as he gives up a dinger. It's 2-0 already. Here's George Davis for the uh, White Sox. Hitless Wonder is starting to hit. He rolls a 34 for a 44. It's a fly ball over to center. Sullivan has that for the out. There's one away. Ed Hahn up there now. Ed rolls a 16 for a 26. Ground ball to second base. It's going to be McConnell throwing to first, and there's two away. Up is Jiggs Donahue hitting 170. Jiggs is roll 35 for a 41, change to a 40, and that's going to be a walk by Morgan. Size's biggest problem is that W. He's given up now 19 walks this season. Up now is uh, Freddie Parent. And Parent rolls a 41 for a 28. That's going to be a ground ball over. Heine Wagner fields that over to McConnell. And so they get their man. We go, however, now to the bottom of the first inning. It is a 2-0 lead for the White Sox. Here comes Ambie McConnell. He's hitting 281. He will face Frank Smith, Mr. 15 grade. A is his uh, grade right now. 5-3 and three his record with a 1.51 ERA. First roll is a 65 for a 35. There is a little E rule, and that'll always get you. It's a 46 out of the range, so it's a pop-up over to the left side. It'll be uh, Tannehill making the catch in foul ground. One away. Up now is Harry Lord. Lord's hitting 255, 279 on base percentage. He rolls a 13 for a 39, changed to 37. That'll be a strike. Next roll is a 34 for a 44, but there is a little E roll. It's a 31 out of the range, so it's a fly ball to center. Jones has that for the out. Two gone. Doc Gessler now, and he rolls a 16 for a 26. Ground ball to Davis, who throws to first. That does it for the first inning. We go to the top of the second inning now. No, or two nothing White Sox. My apologies. Sounds like yesterday's game. Here comes Lee Tannehill for Chicago. Lee rolls a 65 for a 35. That's popped up to the left side out of play, and Lord makes the catch. One away. Billy Sullivan up there now. Billy rolls a 21 for a 30. Fly ball left field. It'll be Kra um, Kravath making the catch. Two away. Up comes Frank Smith, the pitcher. Don't expect much of him. He rolls a 26 for a 13. That's what I expected. We go to the bottom of the second inning. It's a 2-0 uh, lead still. Bob Unglaub will lead this off for the Red Sox. His roll, 23 for a 32. Fly ball right field. Hahn has that one away. Denny Sullivan, the next batter. Rolls a 23 for a 32. It's another fly to right, and Hahn has that one, two gone. Here comes Gavi Kravath. Gavi hitting 207. And um, this is like so many others in 1908 not hitting well. He rolls a 34 for a 44. There is a little E roll. Maybe it'll bail, bail him out. We'll see. Rolls a 33, so it doesn't. It's a fly ball to center. Easy uh, play there for uh, the center fielder, Jones. That brings us to the top of the third inning. And um, it's a 2-0 lead still for the White Sox on uh, Jones's home run. Um, here, first man up is Patsy Doherty. Rolls a 63 for a 31. Fly ball to center. Sullivan has that. There's one away. Fielder Jones now, one for one with that home run. That's his first of the season. He rolls a 63 for a 31 fly ball to center. Sullivan has that. There's two away. Here now is George Davis. And the roll 34 for a 44. So it's another fly ball to Sullivan. Three in a row. And uh, I guess the dice are stuck, huh? Go to the bottom of the third inning. Still 2 nothing. 
Here comes Heine Wagner hitting 263, and he rolls a 14 for a 43. Fly ball to left, and it'll be easy for Patsy Doherty. One away. Joe Krigger up there now. He rolls a 53 for an 18 change to a 22. Ground ball, first base side. Donahue flips over to Smith covering the bag, and uh, just like that, there's two away up his side. Morgan. Morgan rolls a 23 for a 32. It's a fly to right. Hahn has that one for the out. Simple as that. We go to the top of the fourth inning. It is still a 2-0 lead, and here comes Ed Hahn. Two hits for the White Sox, and that's all the offense we've seen, and that all came at the top of the first. Hahn rolls a 21 for a 30. Fly ball to left. It'll be uh, Kravath making the catch. One away. Jiggs Donahue, the batter, rolls an 11 for a 0. Here we go. 65 then for a 35 or for a 7 I'm sorry second column that's a single to right good thing I have the computer to help me so Donahue figures out a way to get on first and that'll bring up Freddie Parent and uh, it's 1908 by the way in case you didn't know so guess what's going to happen it's a bunt rolls a 43 for a 29 and it's a bad bunt right side Unglaub has it and throws over to Heine Wagner covering at second they get the lead runner that'll bring up Tannehill with a runner on at first and two out so it doesn't work Tannehill's rolls 16 for a 26, ground ball to second. McConnell flips over to Wagner at short, and they get the force. We'll go now, bottom of the fourth inning. It's a 2-0 lead for the White Sox. Here comes Amby McConnell. Amby's roll 35 for a 9, and that's a strikeout easy for Smith. His only his first strikeout today. One away, here's Harry Lord. He rolls a 66 for a 0. There goes the no-hitter. Next rolls a 52 for an 8, so it's a single to left center for Lord. And that'll bring up Doc Gessler with uh, down 2 nothing with one out here in the bottom of the fourth. Gessler's hitting 318, and this is one of those situations where you probably don't want to bun. We're going to hit and run with Lord, who has that 11. And the roll of 45 for a 14, and that's a stolen base, so Lord gets it stolen. Runner on at second now, and Gessler's still up there. The next roll is a 64 for a 40, changed to a 36. It's a wild pitch on Smith. That puts Lord on a third, and that means the infield has to come in. Gessler will still swing away. No need to bunt. The roll is a 22 for a 7. That's a fly ball to left. It's caught there by Doherty, and the runner scores. So it's a 2-1 to one lead now for the White Sox. And up comes Bob Unglaub. 2-1, close game. Unglaub rolls a 35 for a 9, and he will strike out. And so we will go now to the top of the fifth inning. And uh, it is a 2-1 to one lead here for the White Sox. Up is Billy Sullivan. Sullivan, the catcher. And his roll is a 63 for a 30. It's a fly ball to left. Kravath has that for the out. One away. Frank Smith is the next man up. Smith today, 0 for 1, struck out last time up. Rolls a 13 for a 36, changed to a 40. That's going to be a walk. So he gets on base. And that brings up Patsy Doherty. Now Smith has wheels. He does not have an 11, but he's fast. Um, the question is, do you bunt with Patsy? Do you swing away? I think we take the risk and swing away. And the rolls a 13 for a 14. Morgan has given up three walks in this game, 21 this season, and that brings up fielder Jones. Jones had a home run earlier, and so do you bunt with him or swing away? Given the situation, one-run game, I think the bunt is almost automatic. And the rolls a 14 for a 43. Good thing we bunted. There is a little E roll, however. And this rolls a 36. It's out of the range. So it will be a bunt back to Morgan. He flips over to uh, McConnell covering at uh, first base. Both runners move up. And now with two away, here is George Davis. Top of the fifth inning, two away, uh, two men on. Both in scoring position. And the question is, do you pitch to Davis or do you pitch to Hahn? Davis hitting 244 is all. Hahn has been hitting a lot better. So I think we do pitch to Davis, but this is a real risk. And the roll is a 56 for a 34. That's going to be a pop-up over to shortstop, the left side. Heine Wagner's there, and he makes the catch for the out. That takes us now to the bottom of the fifth inning. It's still a 2-1 lead here for the uh, White Sox. So Denny Sullivan will uh, lead this off here for the Red Sox. Sullivan 0 for 1 today. His roll is a 34 for a 44. It's a fly ball center field. Jones has that for the out, one away. Up next is Gabby Kravath. Kravath rolls a 43 for a 29. Come back over to Smith, who throws the first, and there's two away. Lenny Wagner, next man up. He rolls a 56 for a 32. It's a fly ball over to right field. Hahn has that one for the out. And uh, just like that, we're at the top of the sixth inning. Very fast-paced game. Uh, still 2-1 the lead for the White Sox. Three hits for the White Sox against only the one for the Red Sox, but they got a run out of it. 
Here is Ed Hahn to lead this off. He rolls a 24 for a 13, and he'll strike out. Second strikeout collected by Morgan. One away. Here comes Jiggs Donahue. Donahue's roll, 35 for a 41, changed to 37, and uh, that's uh, going to be a walk. So Donahue gets on base, and here comes Parent again to try to bunt again. He's been out twice on fielder's choices. And the roll is a 22 for an A. That's a good bunt to Morgan, who throws over to uh, McConnell, covering a first. Donahue goes to second. Two away, here comes Lee Tannehill. And his roll, 55 for an A. That's going to be a comebacker over to Morgan. Throws to first for the out. We'll go now to the bottom of the sixth inning. It's uh, still a 2-1 lead. Joe Krigger, or Lou Krigger, sorry, leads this off for the Red Sox, the catcher. His roll, 23 for a 30. It's a fly ball over to left. Doherty's got that for the out, one away, and here comes Cy Morgan. Pitcher rolls a 56 for a 34. It's a pop-up over to Parent, the shortstop. He's got that for the out, two away, and up is now Ambie McConnell. Ambie rolls an 11 for a zero. He could tie it here. Next rolls a 13 for a six, so that's a double to right center field that when that gets between Hahn and Jones. McConnell ends up on second, and that'll bring up Harry Lord. Two outs, bottom of the six. And his roll is a 24 for a 13. He strikes out. It's the third one that uh, Smith has struck out today. That takes us to the uh, top of the seventh inning. Still a 2-1 ball game. Very, very tight, very close. Up is Billy Sullivan. Catcher is 0 for 2. Flew out to left both times. He rolls a 52 for a 27. It's a ground ball to the left side. Lord fields it and throws to first. One away. Frank Smith up there now, the pitcher. 0 for 1. Walked last time up. Rolls a 41 for a 28. Ground ball to short, and it's Heine Wagner throwing to first. Two away. Up now again, Patsy Doherty, who's one for two. He had that single stolen base. He also walked. His roll is a 42 for a 14, and so he'll walk again, and that'll bring up Fielder Jones. No way to bunt, of course. Two men out. Jones rolls a 16 for a 26. It's a ground ball to second. McConnell flips that one over to Heine Wagner, and that takes us now to the bottom of the seventh inning. Still a 2-1 lead for the White Sox, time running out for Boston. Here comes Doc Gessler. His roll is a 12 for a 24. There is a little E roll. It's a 43, so it's a ground ball to short. Parent throws over to first, one away. Bob Unglaub comes up next. 0 for 2 today. Rolls a 41 for a 28. Ground ball to Parent is short. He throws to first, and there's two gone. Up is Denny Sullivan, and Sullivan rolls a 52 for a 27. It'll be a ground ball to third, and they go down quietly. Tannehill throws to first. We go now to the uh, top of the eighth inning. Still a 2-1 lead for the White Sox. We've had all of the excitement early. So it'll be George Davis here to lead this off. Davis, uh, 0 for 3, rolls a 55 for an 8. That's going to be a ground ball to short, and uh, Wagner throws to first, one away. Ed Hahn, next man up. Rolls a 31 for a 9, and that's going to be a single over short. So another hit for the White Sox, their fourth. That'll bring up Jiggs Donahue, who's one for one, walked twice, and he's going to bunt. And he rolls a 15 for an 11, and so he gets another hint. Uh, he bunts successfully and uh, makes it to first before the throw gets in there. And once again, it brings up Freddie Parent, who I think has tried to bunt every time up. Fifth hit for the White Sox. Here comes Parent. He's going to bunt, and his roll is a 61 for a 13, and he strikes out, interestingly enough. And, and that's the second out. Here comes the lead Tannehill now with the uh, runners on at first and second. Rolls a 32 for a 26, and that's going to be a pop-up to the left side. McConnell makes that catch for the out. We'll go now to the uh, bottom of the eighth inning. It's a 2-1 uh, lead for the White Sox. Here's uh, Gabby Travis. Rolls a 32 for a 26 ground ball. That'll be over to uh, Davis, who throws the first one away. Heine Wagner now. His rolls a 22 for an 8, but that's a ground ball to short. Parent has it on the first, and there's two gone. Here comes Lou Krigger. And the roll is 64 for a 27 ground ball to third. Tannehill has that and throws the first. And so we go now to the top of the ninth inning. It's still a 2-1 lead for the White Sox. And so we'll see what happens in this one. Very tight game. Billy Sullivan leads this off. He rolls a 23 for a 32. Fly ball to right. Gessler has that. There's one away. Up comes Frank Smith, who's 0 for 2. Smith rolls a 24 for a 13, and down he goes. Two away, and up's Patsy Doherty. One for two with two walks and scored a run. And he rolls a 23 for a 32. It's a fly ball to right. Gessler's got that for the out. And we'll go to the bottom of the ninth inning. It's uh, Cy Morgan, the pitcher, leading it off. Of course, he's not hitting for himself. So we're going to come up with a pinch hitter here for the Red Sox. 
could just stick Larry Gardner in there. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll actually put in Jack Thony, who I think was more likely to be the pinch hitter. So Thony comes up. His roll 34 for a 44. It's a fly ball to center. Jones has that for the out. One away. Ambi McConnell up. Only two hits for the Red Sox today. McConnell rolls a 64 for a 13. There's a strikeout, and there's two away. Up comes Harry Lord, and this is it. Harry's roll is a 14 for a 43. It's a fly ball to left field. Easily playable for Doherty, and he's got that for the out. And there's your ball game. The White Sox win this one 2-1. to one. Pretty easy win for the White Sox, and that will hurt the Red Sox chances as uh, Chicago is trying to get back into this uh, pennant race. So hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, Frank Smith improves to 6-3. and three. Morgan now down to 5-3. and three. And uh, the plot thickens in the 1908 American League. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll talk with you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.